Jiho the Train's Journey, a story of honesty, fairness, and perseverance. In a small village nestled among the mountains of South Korea, there was a lively green train named Jiho. Jiho wasn't the fastest or the strongest train, but he was reliable and always willing to help others. Every day, Jiho traveled through valleys, rivers, and bustling stations, bringing supplies to small villages and connecting families across the region. Jiho loved his job, but his biggest dream was to travel to the vibrant city of Seoul and see the shining lights, tall buildings, and the grand railway station where all the trains from around the country met. One chilly autumn morning, the station master, Mr. Kim, announced an exciting journey. Jiho, he said, his voice filled with pride, you've been chosen for a very special mission. You'll deliver a cargo of precious seeds to Seoul for the Grand Garden Festival. Jiho's wheels trembled with excitement. This was his chance to see Seoul and be part of something important. But the journey would be long and challenging, and Jiho had to be prepared. As Jiho chugged along the winding tracks, he saw that many of the smaller villages along the way looked eager for supplies. Jiho had a strict route and cargo list to follow, but he remembered the value of kindness and generosity. Stopping carefully, he shared a few extra supplies with the villagers who needed them most. Thank you, Jiho, called out a young boy, waving as Jiho continued. Jiho felt a warm glow in his engine, knowing he had made a difference. But he also knew that he had to stay responsible and not give away too much. He needed to make sure his main delivery would still reach the city on time. As Jiho approached the mountain pass, a sudden gust of wind brought dust and small pebbles onto the tracks. Jiho was a bit nervous, but he took a deep breath and reminded himself to be honest about his abilities. He could climb the hill carefully if he went slowly and stayed focused. Jiho radioed the station, explaining that he would need extra time to navigate the difficult pass. It's okay, Jiho, said Mr. Kim over the radio. We trust you. Take your time and do it right. Feeling a renewed sense of confidence, Jiho climbed up the mountain slowly and carefully. Even when it got tough, Jiho persevered, staying honest with himself about the challenges he faced and making it to the other side safely. As Jiho reached the flat plains near the city, he encountered a group of other trains gathered at a rest station, waiting for clearance. Among them was Day, a fast and shiny train who was known for being one of the fastest in the country. Hey, Jiho, called Day with a grin. That you can't keep up with me. Jiho felt the urge to accept the challenge, but he remembered the importance of fairness. Day was designed for speed, and Jiho knew it wasn't fair to push himself just to try to beat him. Instead, he gave Day a respectful nod and said, You're much faster than me, Day. I'll let you lead the way, but I'll keep steady and catch up in my own time. Day chuckled but nodded respectfully, appreciating Jiho's honesty and sportsmanship. Jiho continued his journey at his own pace, knowing he had made the fair choice. Finally, as Jiho rolled into Seoul, he saw the grand cityscape, the tall buildings, and the huge central station glowing with lights. His heart swelled with gratitude, both for the chance to see the city and for the lessons he had learned on the way. When Jiho reached the festival grounds, he unloaded the seeds carefully, feeling proud of his responsibility in delivering them. The Garden Festival organizers thanked Jiho with cheers and applause, and Mr. Kim shook Jiho's front wheel with pride. You've shown honesty, fairness, and perseverance on your journey, Jiho, Mr. Kim said warmly. You've reminded us all what it truly means to be a hero. Jiho looked around, seeing his reflection in the shiny city lights and feeling a deep sense of fulfillment. It wasn't the speed or power that made him special, but his kind heart, responsible spirit, and willingness to do what was right. And as he chugged back toward the village, Jiho felt grateful for every part of his journey, knowing that he was carrying more than just cargo, he was carrying values that would guide him for life.